It's easy to forget because they've existed for as long as any of us have been alive. But motion pictures are a relatively recent form of art. Yes, even for as long as I have been alive. Humans have been making movies for only a little more than 100 years. In contrast, humans have been making plays for thousands of years. That's why classes about dramatic writing, whether playwriting or screenwriting, tend to start with a discussion of the lessons we can learn about dramatic structure from important theorists such as Aristotle or Freytag. However, since this is a screenwriting class, we now need to shift the focus of our discussion to cinematic structure. One of the most influential forms of cinematic structure for the last 40 years or so has been the late Sid Field's paradigm, which he acknowledged was based on the lessons he learned from folks like Aristotle and Freytag. In fact, on page 305 of our required textbook, Screenplay, The Foundations of Screenwriting, Field wrote, when I uncovered the paradigm, I didn't really discover anything new. This concept of storytelling has been around since Aristotle's time. I simply uncovered what was already there, gave it a name, and illustrated how it worked in contemporary movies. So, when we look at this diagram of Field's paradigm of cinematic structure, you will notice it has some strong similarities to this diagram of dramatic structure from my earlier video that combines concepts from the excerpts we read from Aristotle's Poetics and Freytag's Technique of the Drama. You'll notice, for instance, that Field's paradigm is a three-act structure. It was Aristotle who divided a plot into three parts he simply labeled a beginning, a middle, and an end. In more modern times, folks have tended to instead use the terms Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. Field's diagram of his paradigm of cinematic structure includes both of these sets of terms. However, he added a third set of terms. Field thinks of Act 1, the beginning of the screenplay, as the setup, Act 2, the middle of the screenplay, as the confrontation, and Act 3, the end of the screenplay, as the resolution. Field suggests that if your goal is to write an approximately 120-minute screenplay, you should devote about 30 pages to the setup, about 60 pages to the confrontation, and about 30 pages to the resolution. These numbers are based on the rough rule of thumb that one page of screenplay tends to translate to one minute of movie. In screenplay, Field only explicitly labels two plot points in his paradigm, plot point one and plot point two. However, perceptive readers of his book point out that his paradigm technically has five plot points. In addition to plot point one and plot point two, there are also the inciting incident, the midpoint, and the climax. If you are following Field's paradigm exceptionally closely, the inciting incident would occur around page 10 of your screenplay, plot point one at around page 30, the midpoint at around page 60, plot point two around page 90, and the climax at around page 105. It's when we start to think about these five plot points in Field's paradigm that what we learn from Freytag starts to apply, especially his theories about the climax and how the action of a drama should rise toward the climax and fall away from it. You'll notice, though, that while Freytag placed the climax in the middle of his pyramid, Field instead places the climax in the third act, the resolution of his paradigm. Now, there's a lot more to understand about Field's paradigm of cinematic structure. So much so, we're reading an entire book about it. Before you start to read screenplay, the foundations of screenwriting, though, you should first consult my detailed set of slides titled Explaining Plot Points in the Paradigm with Examples from the Matrix.